Hi everybody, it's Tracy here. How are you going? I'm just going to adjust. Hi, how are you? Um, I have been sort of, well, not really a hell of a lot, but I've sort of been off the social media. I decided to have a bit of a break um, from social media, but I did this video probably about five days ago and I just wanted to redo it. Um, and then I'm going to have a bit of a break <laughs> probably till the end of the month. But so I just want to say a little bit before I get into what this is about, um, I just want to say a quick thank you to everybody that did the hashtag ladder tarot tag. Um, it was really successful and it was great to see how everybody sort of adapted it to their own needs. And I think thoroughly appreciated watching all of you um, share what you got from it and um, it was wonderful. It was wonderful to see the response and I really appreciate it um, being quite new to the uh, tarot community and the YouTube community. It was wonderful to have everybody's support. So this sort of goes hand in hand with the ladder tarot tag. So as that one had to do with the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, I had a um, an idea that's sort of been bugging me ever since I did that tag um, to do another one right off the back of it. But I've sort of been mulling away on putting it out there. But it was just a message that I I was definitely told that I had to share. Um, obviously it's for my own healing and if it resonates with you that's wonderful as well. It's called the Jahari window. So I actually did this, um, the Jahari window is like a psychological tool to do with interpersonal skills. So especially in the workplace. So that's where I had done this training. Um, in one of the places where I'd worked and there was a, a greater amount of women, the percentage of women in the workplace was very much higher to how many men were in that environment as well. So the Jahari's window works on four quadrants. So there is, I've just done on my card, so there are four quadrants. So the first quadrant is to show how open you are with others and um, I've just got some notes so what is known to yourself how open you are and how free you are in um, telling people so you know how transparent are you you know and what others can see as well so I decided to do this tag now just a little premise before I go into it this may be it like anything, <laughs> like anything, when you start digging away, um, oops, just lost a card. Um, that you, when you start digging away, you're going to find things that you may feel uncomfortable with, that you may feel you may not want to share, and that's totally fine. And if you want to keep it private, that's fine. Um, if you do do the spread, Please let me know how you go in the comments. You don't need to give any details, but just let, you know, let me know if it resonated with you or if it didn't. Um, and we can have a little conversation down there. Or if you want to do, you know, your own video response. Sorry, <laughs> i got a bit of an itch in my leg. Um, yeah, it would be really interesting to see. But what I wanted, what's been coming up for me, which is the reason why I wanted to do this spread, is I find myself sort of very sort of stuck in my ways and I think I just wanted to open up more communication because I sort of felt and especially being on here on YouTube I'm expressing myself more than what I would normally do which is my which was my challenge for the year okay so I'm just going to get on with the spread because I realize I've already been talking for the last four minutes so we're just going to get into it I'm just going to get my card oh it's on the floor Okay, so the, the quadrant goes, the first step is the open part. So that's step one. And I'm using the um, Healing with the Fairies Oracle card and the I Am Power deck. 
So the, the way that I see this is I am fortune and this is kick up your heels. I tend to have, and I'm quite open about this, about how I how I sort of communicate. I am a person that likes to have fun, that likes to be quite the optimist um, and you know I I like to create the space where I am I am fortunate so I am fortune. Um, I think when you sort of put things in perspective I am very I have fortune I have a roof over my head you know I my body is healthy I mean this sort of shows lots of lushness and and you know the water flowing which has a lot to do with I think fortune um, the abundance I, I feel like there is a lot of abundance in my life even though I'd certainly like more but the fact being is I'm pretty lucky you know where I live and the opportunities that are available to me and what I make use of the resources around me as well okay so then we're going on to the second quadrant so this is the blind area so this is unknown to myself but it, it could be quite clear to others so when we're interacting on whatever level it is it could be quite clear how they're perceiving me but it is it is um, blind to me so the cards that I got for that part is letting go and two cards popped out at the same time which is I am hope and I am complete So when I saw this card, I'm just getting chills now, is that I think what this card in particular is saying that sometimes I, well, I don't think I know, I do it a lot by myself where in actual fact I could be asking others so this is part of the next cycle so what is open and you go to the second quadrant is um, the blind area is actually assisting you know asking for assistance so we we don't always do things by ourselves and there is you know she's got the moon energy there so it's very emotional for her there's lots of um, feminine energy as well so you know seeking guidance from our emotional support so where is our emotional support and I tend to not do that a hell of a lot um, and probably think I can do it by myself and in actual fact you know others sort of pick up on it you know they can sort of see you may be struggling and they'll offer you know like you might get that random um, phone call to say hey let's go and meet for a coffee and then you have this wonderful conversation and then things just come out you know because it was just that right time you didn't know that that's what you needed at the time but um, you had that opportunity that opportunity was given to you where you can just let it go you know where you can just there's no judgment and it just comes from the space of just pure pure love and then you know you're feeling more complete and there's hope there's always hope and that's what I feel like she's sort of reaching for you know that there's an energy there that's coming off her hands where she is really connected to that lunar energy and she's just has all that power because she's let it all go and she's also like it's a receiving as well so you're you're you know what may seem blind to you you know at the end of that is this lovely connection that you receive unbeknownst to you yeah okay 
Then we're going to go on to the third quadrant. Now the third quadrant is the hidden aspect and I will leave a, um, a video of the Jahari window of this young guy that was did this fabulous job in explaining the Jahari window. And what I really liked about what he said um, about the hidden part is that we seem to think that we hide things from others. Um, when in actual fact they come out inadvertently, they could come out in a really snide remark that you intentionally meant to say, but you disguise it as something else, you know, you disguise it as being funny um, or sarcastic, which isn't really funny at all. Um, and it comes out in different areas and you know, you seem to think, oh, I'm, I'm very private and I, you know, you might act, not actually say the words, but in your actions or however else, you're, you're sort of telling. You know, there are telltale signs as to what you are, what is hidden inside, you know. Um, so, yeah, so this is self-reliance. I really like this card. These are beautiful cards. I've been using these for the last couple of days. And I am third eye. This is a surprising one. And I know that um, I've sort of been in the closet, the spiritual closet. And I... This is, has to do a lot with the reason why I wanted to put myself out there this year um, because I didn't want to be hidden. I actually wanted to have a voice and I wanted to connect more with my spiritual, spiritual life. Like my spiritual path is so important to me and I think as a window, and, th and this is how the window goes, it adjusts over time. So it might be four equal quadrants, but by the end of it, you know, you, you might, you know, it's like pulling down that window where you may seem more hidden with the, um, sorry, where you might seem more open and the hidden part is smaller. Um, yeah, and it will adjust over time. But, I mean, self-reliance, I don't think there's any shame in being self-reliant. I don't know why I would hide that. Um, maybe it's got something to do with the fact that I'm by myself and I've been by myself for quite a while, but obviously, I don't know. But I really like the way that she is, you know, she's got her arms over, our over her chest but she's still exposing her skin as if to say, well, you know, this is me. I am, you know, happy in my body and I'm doing my thing. And, you know, she's got this lovely aura around her, this lovely glow. And that sort of resonates with I am third eye. It's like saying, well, I am connected to my intuition. I am connected to my spiritualness. It is a part of me. There's no, there's no hiding that. And I don't know why I think I need to hide it. I should be proud of that. That that's a part of me. Um, yeah, and um, yeah, that's really cool. Um, and then the last part of the quadrant is the unknown. So this is where we have self-discovery, so shared discovery, and others' observations. So, you know, we all have these revelations where, you know, when we start doing these, um, these psychological delvings, these, these diggings of truth, you know, you really want to get to know yourself more. And, and there's some beautiful aspects of ourselves that we've never seen before. And when we start to mix with different people, they bring out different aspects of ourselves. Um, and this is in a child. 
and we have I am creative and I am. This is a real powerful card. If I, <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, gee, I thought I could get through this video without getting all teary, but here we go. So this is what I'm talking about it is really If I could um, tell myself as a child that I am, that's basically all I needed to say. <laughs> um, yeah, if I could tell that little girl that, that it's okay to be me, that I didn't need to change or adapt or contort myself into something to be loved just to be myself um, I think there would be a lovely message to tell her you know that, that it's okay and it's okay to be creative to be colorful to because when I think about being creative, I, I keep on thinking about the word noise. Um, uh, that it was okay to make noise, that it was okay to use this part of my creativity to be able to um, to express myself. And that's something I wasn't really uh, allowed to do. I wasn't allowed to express myself until the point where I am now learning to create and I am having so much fun um, in sharing my creation. This is part of my creation, doing these videos, um, doing my drawings and whatever else I deem creative because that's me I am that and that's certainly been an unknown part of me for a very long time that I didn't realize I had inside of me until I, I don't even know how it sort of came about I mean I have spoken about this before in other videos and I realize this video is getting quite long but we don't need to doubt ourselves. We don't need to think, I can't do that. There are so many things that are inside of us that are just so unknown to us. And then somewhere down the track, we just go, wow, I might give that a go. And then we just have all this momentum and energy and drive and inspiration. And all these things are just open to us that we never ever thought was possible and we're going where did that come from but it's like this deep well you know if you don't tap into that well you'll never know you know it's it's truly truly a, a wonderful wonderful journey so that is the Jahari's window I'm just going to leave a little um, I'm just going to show you the quadrant. Sorry. So this is where we start. So we start from the open. We go across to the blind, down to the hidden. And sorry, blind down to the hidden, and then across to the unknown. So let me know how you go with that. Um, please be aware, I'm going to say it again, please be aware that it can bring up issues. And if you if you want to do it just on your own, that's cool. Just let me know that you did it and then give me a thumbs up. Um, I've also had used some beautiful crystals if you feel like they are good facilitators. I really like dra dravite. Dravite, I think that's how you say it. It's a brown tourmaline. Because of all these different facets that I absolutely love. And I think, you know, as a visual thing, 
there is so much inside of here, just like you. There's so much inside of you. And sometimes you don't need to share it with the world. Sometimes you might want to choose a clear quartz. You know, and this is a great facilitator to use with the dravite. You know, but you know, so we've got the grounding and we've got the light, you know, we've got the the crown chakra. So this is such a visual thing as well. So even if you wanted to use these types of windows as well to help you get clarity or maybe keep things hidden, I don't know. Um Yes, but I just want to say thank you so much, lovely people. Thank you for your ongoing support. This community means the world to me. I am really blown away by your generosity and your support. Um, and I will see you soon, maybe at the end of March after I've had my little <laughs> after I've had my little detox, and I will see you very soon. Bye.